let's see what next in our plate okay so we can use having clause in the aggregate function so uh, you can avoid the where clause and you can also use the having clause let's see how we can do that so we'll leverage the same code which you wrote earlier and i'll just type here eight you'll say having clause all right So here I can say, uh, say we you have a selection screen and you have some field in the selection screen. So we have works. So we can say having works in say s plant. Okay, and then you can also give and um, ebln is less than say we know the figure. It says forty-five or something. Forty-five or forty-six. 45 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay i don't know whether it's 45 or 46 let's check that 46 series so we have 46 series in our test system so this is 46 series and then i'll give a full stop so so it's still crying because okay first of all works had a spelling mistake and second is crying it will say now having s plant is unknown so let's put s plant so i'll say select option s plant for say e tpo works and then it will again cry it will not find tables equal to ekpo hope it is good now holy moly still crying what did, did i do wrong here oh select options all right okay i forgot that to give this host variable now it's all green okay let's activate it Activate it and now see whether we get any output or not. So, F8. Let's give a plant 4516 and then let's execute. So, see, we give a clause which is less than 2. So, we got this 4, 5, this maximum 40. So, so the having clause worked. So, in the having clause, we had this clause which is less than 4, 5 this is 0 2 so there was just one entry that is one so hope hope you now understand how to use a having clause so having clause can be used like this just like the where clause and and you can use all other operations which you were using earlier